sorry, I'm super unprofessional here, I brought my phone, you're gonna live with it. You can actually, you know what, you cannot look at it, here, you cannot see my phone. I have like 10 minutes to record all of this because I need to go watch Oppenheimer. Shooting rapid fire mode activated. <clears throat> I was thinking about not covering everything that happened on Raw, but it kind of makes sense for future feuds and everything. And even some small matches are connected to big feuds that are coming up, so... At the end, I'm going to cover everything. The show opened with Fatal 4-Way match for the next contender for the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, as you remember, at SummerSlam, Gunther retained. And the match was between... Uh, sorry, I'm super unprofessional here. I brought my phone. You're going to live with it. You can actually... You know what? You cannot look at it. Here. You cannot see my phone. Re match Rido, Chad Gable, Champa, and Ricochet. Oh. Here is my phone, sorry. And Chad Gable won. I'm actually excited about this outcome of the match uh, because last week we had a preview match between Chad Gable and Gunther and it was a really exciting match because Chad Gable is the perfect underdog for Gunther. We all know that Chad Gable is not gonna be the guy who's gonna dethrone Gunther because Gunther is like 30 days away from becoming the longest reigning IC championship champion in history. But I think it's gonna be a great match nonetheless. After that we had Naka Shinsuke Nakamura versus Bronson Reed. And I was thinking about not covering this match. But all I'm gonna say is what that match leads to. And ultimately that match leads to nothing, but actually it led to Nakamura later in the night joining Seth and Cody for their six-man tag team match and Shinsuke's heel turn because he Kinshasa Seth, but we're gonna talk about that later. Zoe Stark versus Shayna Baszler. Well, this is a match I can actually skip and not talk at all. Even though Shayna now is the baddest woman on the planet, even though I like Zoe Stark and I see a lot of potential in her, that match was kind of useless. Otis versus Ludwig Kaiser. I don't know why Ludwig Kaiser all of a sudden decided to hit on Maxine Dupree. I don't know if I'm jealous about this. But for now, Ludwig, you had a free pass. I cannot hit on Maxine myself, so go ahead, you have a free pass. But anyway, it was a fun segment, but at the same time interferes with the fact that Chad is gonna fight uh, Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship. I thought it was fun, I thought it was good, I thought it was a fresh new thing, and uh, I thought that it was stupid that Imperium attacked, all three of them attacked Otis and they won, And but it is what it is. Uh, I'm really excited for next week to see what will happen between Chad and Gunther, what will happen between Maxine and Ludwig, and yeah. LA Knight and Miss segment was low-key pretty good. LA Knight spits on fire, Miss spits on fire, and obviously the next big feud of LA Knight is gonna be the Miss. I think Miss is a really safe worker, Miss is a really good worker, a really valuable worker, and I think that match is a low-key gonna burn the house down, you know, it's gonna be great. The New Day versus the Viking Raiders. The actually, actually the returning New Day versus the Viking Raiders. And I have a serious concern about the Viking Raiders. I'm not a big fan of Viking Raiders, but they went through so many little modifications in order to become this version of the Viking Raiders. They went through Viking experience, they went through the Vikings, they went through the Viking uh, fists, uh, the Viking shields, whatever. They were uh, without Valhalla, they were without shields, they were punching their chest when they were uh, walking out to the ring. And I don't understand why that transformation was needed in the first place. But let's say it was. Now they're Viking Raiders, they have a perfect gimmick, they're walking out with Valhalla, they're looking badass, and you put them every week 
in a match, in a scenario where they consistently lose. And I don't understand how anyone in the back thinks straight with their heads. Like, I, this is a little bit of a rant. I'm saying again, I'm not a Viking Experience fan or Viking Raiders, forgot their name, but I'm frustrated with the fact that they're constantly on the losing end and no one can take them seriously no matter how badass they look no matter how, how bad she looks uh, how good she looks, whatever if they're constantly losing week to week no one can take them seriously neither do I I really want to give them a sh chance but you cannot put the newly invented Viking Raiders versus the newly returning the New Day. Everyone knows that the New Day should win. Why are you putting them in a match against Viking Raiders? I don't get it. Last but not least was the main event, Shinsuke Nakamura, Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins versus the Judgment Day. The original match was supposed to be uh, instead Shinsuke Nakamura and Sami Zayn to go out there, but in the backstage segment uh, JD McDonough attacked Sami Zayn, he broke his arm. Actually, Sami's arm looks kind of strange. Sami, uh, Sami's arm looks like it's always broken and I realized that whenever that backstage segment happened. But, no matter what happened there, it was a great main event, I really enjoyed the match and more importantly, I liked the ending. For some reason, I think Shinsuke Nakamura needed that heel turn at the end of the match. Everyone celebrated, the good guys beat the Judgment Day, but Shinsuke Nakamura attacked the world champion and he just decided to go slowly to the back and everything was nice. I have a big expectations for Shin. Uh, I don't know if this is right or this is wrong. Maybe I should lower my expectations a bit so I don't get disappointed. But Nonetheless, it was great. The thing is, hold that main event shtick. I don't know where we're going at. Are we going to Cody versus Seth as the next match? Are we going as uh, Shinsuke versus Seth? I'm not sure where the direction is right now, but I'm sure that the next week we're gonna have more light about the whole thing and we're gonna have more clarification on the whole feud situation on Raw. Anyway, I need to go watch Oppenheimer, as I said. So thank you guys so much for watching. Kisses, and I'm gonna see you tomorrow for NXT. Tune in tomorrow for NXT. Or I'm gonna do something